You know what I mean, guys? Hey, everybody, before we get the video started, I just wanted to hear a quick word from today's sponsor. Me. It's me. I'm the sponsor. It's me. Hi. I'm the sponsor. It's me. But yeah, guys, today's sponsored by Jacob Andrew Sharp. And right now, I've got some really exciting news. I'm going on tour. We've got a bunch of Canadian dates coming up. So if you live in Winnipeg, Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, I mean, it's technically Burnaby, but it's fucking Vancouver. Barry, Ontario, Toronto, Ontario, London, Ontario. We're going to London, bruv. London, Ontario, mate. So guys, if you live in any of those cities or any surrounding areas, or maybe you live somewhere not so close, but you want to see all the funny shit that I'm going to say on stage, then buy a ticket and come on down. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Go to jacobsharp.com slash tour and go buy a ticket, okay? I don't know, man. I think it's going to be one of the best comedy shows of all time. Wouldn't you agree, Dean? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alrighty, guys, let's start the video. Hey guys, let's make a jizzy set from start to finish. Have you guys ever seen an egg made out of jizz? Let's make a jizzy dog. Hey guys, let's do a jizzy ring. <sighs> okay. Ba 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 ba. Just do just do the video. I'm doing the video right now. Here we go. There's cat puke on the floor. Hey, how are ya? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name's Jacob Andrew Sharp, and gang, we've got a doozy for ya. <sighs> We, well, this is a doozy. This one is a doozy. It's, it's really more of an oozy. It's an oozy doozy. It's covered in, in goop, in, in ooze. Ugh, <sighs> oh, gross. <laughs> It's covered in a certain type of fluid. I don't want to say it quite yet. There's kind of nuggets in here. Actually, no, fuck it. There's nuggets. There's nuggets in here. I don't care. There's tasty, juicy, salty, creamy nuggets. Okay, do you guys know what I'm getting at? I'm sorry I'm about to say this, but today's nuggets are jizz flavored. We're eating jizz. The nuggets today are jizz. Sorry, it's jizz. So make sure you guys like and subscribe for more jizz flavored nuggets, okay? Because today we're taking a look at the account Jizzy Jewelry on TikTok, AKA Amanda Booth. And she is a clay artist that makes jewelry out of jizz and uh, sometimes other fluids, but primarily jizz. I should probably stop saying jizz so much just so this doesn't, you know, get kicked off the internet. But Amanda's accumulated quite a nice following on TikTok. And I want to say right away, I'm not here to bash Amanda's business. I actually kind of want to promote it because I think what she's doing is pretty funny and it's not hurting anybody. And Amanda's Canadian. Shout out Canada, the land of jizz. That's why they call it the Great White. We the North, more like we the jizz. Our compasses are always pointing north, you know? Hey guys, let's do a jizzy ring. Our client sent in their semen sample. Keep in mind it does take- I will say sometimes she does show the jizz. So I'm gonna blur the fluid uh, just so everyone doesn't, I don't know, puke their fucking face. Like every time I do see one of these videos that has the fluid in it, I immediately can smell it, you know? Take um, a while for samples to get to us. So coloring and consistency does change um, when semen is left um, sitting. Anyway, so we turned it into a powder. I incorporated it into the clay and our client also wanted pink opalescent um, flakes included as well. So I gave that a quick marble and created the small heartbeat that we were gonna make for the ring, um, of course, with the leftovers um, with his own sample. Um, I made beads for a bracelet as well. Um, here we are just wrapping it in sterling silver. The wrap for this ring is fairly simple, but we do make sure that we go um, around the entire band um, and weave uh, smaller wire around to reinforce the band to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. The set turned out super cute. I am super happy with how the opalescent glitter interacted with the jizzy clay. What do you guys think? Pearl necklace. Pearl necklace. Pearl fucking necklace. Her jewelry is amazing. It actually blows my mind that she can take something like jizz and turn it into that. Like, I would love to see that as a commercial on TV. Do you love getting ropes of human jizz wrapped around your neck? But you're always so sick of wiping off that sticky gosh darn mess? Well, now you can finally wear your partner's seed forever without all that droopy goopy. So stop by K Jewelers to get your next set of jizzy jewelry. K Jewelers. Every come begins with K. Hey guys, let's make a jizzy set from start to finish. 
So my client sent in his lovely semen sample and we began to process it by powdering it. We do this by mixing it with a special concoction um, that we keep as a trade secret and we lay it out on parchment paper for it to dry. Once it's dried, we grind it into a very fine powder and then we incorporate it into translucent clay so the clay will take on the same coloring. My client originally ordered a single pearl necklace um, on a gold chain, but of course I had some leftovers, so we are going to make some freebies for them as well. I decided to get extra fancy, so we're going to do a single bead um, bra chain bracelet and then a wire wrap bracelet as well. Once we have everything um, completely finished, we take it over to the photo box to take pictures to send to our client for approval. And then we package it up all pretty so that way it could be shipped. I can't wait for you guys to see these in person. I hope your wife absolutely loves them. I didn't know jizz could be that pretty. I had no idea that my balls were filled with diamonds. But that's insane to me. By drying out and grounding the jizz to a quivering pulp. By, by yeah, by pounding the jizz into a jizzering pulp. You guys ever get pulp in your jizz? Gross. And then she presses that like cum dust into jewelry. But that is kind of how diamonds are made. But you know, the core of the earth shoots a big load into the ground and then it presses it into this pretty diamond. And then you post it to TikTok. I guess all diamonds are jizz. Guys, just like Rihanna always says, shine bright like a diamond. It does make me think that this like DIY art craze has gone a little too far. Like maybe I'll start collecting ass juice and turning it into crystals. Yeah, this is actually a Gooch Juice Opal Stone, and it was actually created from my late father's taint. I just find that the wet towel smell really balances me, and it keeps his memory alive. <laughs> <coughs> Miss you, Dad. Have you guys ever seen an egg made out of jizz? Well, you're about to. My client sent in his semen sample, and we processed it into a powder. From there, we mixed the powder into translucent clay, and this by far has been the largest batch of um, jizzy clay that I've had to make. My client just wanted a simple showpiece for himself to put up on his shelf. He wanted an egg um, about the size of a large chicken egg. So About the size of a large chicken egg. So the size of a large chicken egg? Do the chickens have large talons? <laughs> <laughs> what came first, the egg or the jizz? I mean, I'm gonna say the jizz came first because of premature ejaculation. But dude, an egg made out of jizz. I'm pretty sure that's how people are made. I really appreciate and I really like what Amanda does, but to think about the type of guy who sends his jizz to someone to have it made into an egg and then to have that as like a display in his home, that's gotta be like the biggest red flag. Gang, if he shows you his jizz egg, run. Well, you never know. Maybe in the morning he'll make you an egg white omelet. So I created the core um, for the egg and then draped the jizzy clay over top and molded it so that way, um, well, we, we got a jizzy egg. <laughs> I also hand sculpted a cute little stand for the egg to go on. Now my client also wanted some gold and silver flakes incorporated into the egg um, to give it some look of elegance. I mean, a jizzy egg is elegant all in itself, um, but I think it's really elevated it. Now I just need to painstakingly do layer upon layer of um, a gloss coat to really smooth everything out. Della ways to go. Whoa. You guys remember that Christmas song, Silver and Gold? That's about jizz. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Everyone wishes for jizz and cum. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's Christmas time. I got jizz on the brain. Could you imagine if you came silver and gold? Yow! Check out this badass jizzy jewelry heart geode. As always, I got the semen sample in the mail. I turned it into a powder and then incorporated it into the clay. My client wanted orange and teal marbled with the pearl of the, well, I guess of the jizz. And then I created this geode-like pocket. I picked out some um, Jasper chips that matched the aesthetic. And then my client also wanted it wire wrapped with black wire and on a black chain. The marbling of the pendant and the geode just looked so flippin' stellar that I didn't want to cover it too much with the wire. I think the whole thing turned out so flippin' awesome. I'm so happy with it. And of course, with the leftover clay, I made some extra beads um, and made a bracelet. Now they have a very unique piece made of their very own cum stone. Yeah. <laughs> it's so awesome though. It's so pretty. 
Happy Monday, guys. But Amanda does receive jizz in the mail. Guys, could you imagine going to the post office and like slapping a stamp on your homemade bag of milk? Only people from Ontario are gonna get that one. But that's why we gotta respect postal workers, guys. They're doing the dirty work. They're carrying the heavy loads. And they're carrying our heavy loads. And that's what it means to be a patriot. I'm pretty sure that's what the US Postal Service slogan is. Neither jizz nor cum, nor skeet nor splooge of guys sprays these couriers from the swift completion of their explosive loads. All I can say is I just hope she's receiving like well sealed packages, not just like sopping wet envelopes. I really hope she's not receiving like the worst Hogwarts letter ever. Really putting the hog in Hogwarts. You gonna go and specialize in broom riding? You're a gizzard, Harry. <laughs> Take that, JK. I made your little book gay, you transphobic dickhead. I do know that right now the US is trying to ban TikTok, which is something I completely disagree with. If they were so worried about kids being on TikTok, how did they not bring this in as evidence? But instead, every grandpa in the Senate was like, Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? <laughs> So you're telling me TikTok uses the Wi-Fi? Actually, maybe that's why they're trying to get rid of it. Because I bet all the old people in the Senate are the ones who are sending in their jizz to get a jizzy ring made. Does TikTok know that I sent that lady my jizz just so I could make a toe ring out of it and send it to my wife because I'm kind of into feet stuff? Does TikTok know that I like jizzing on toe rings? You can't tell anyone, TikTok. Dear the US government, shut up and get over it. TikTok's awesome. It's BFF butthole time. This is a quad of buttholes. Once I got their hair preferences on the appropriate buttholes, I got to designing. First one is a vegan uh, butthole, so I figured I would give them a tossed salad. They also love wearing robes, and obviously they love animals, so I decided to give them a cow print robe, and they absolutely love dogs, so I also added a little collar. They also had a bougie Louis Vuitton vibe butthole, a boho uh, bright colored butthole, and um, the other one I just got like evil eye vibes. So instead of a brown eye, we decided to go with an evil eye. Just one wouldn't cut it, so I decided to go with a whole bunch. But yeah, BFF buttholes. I hope you guys absolutely love them. Absolutely incredible. She's capitalizing on an untapped market. Well, it's getting tapped right now, actually. Bestie buttholes? This business isn't hurting anybody. This is actually amazing. This is super funny. It's actually making some people feel really good. But outside of these nut diamonds and skeet stones, Amanda will also make you a custom bestie butthole. And don't worry, she's not making them out of like severed buttholes or like people's poo. You know, who doesn't want a pendant of their little dinger with a witch's hat on? If you're upset about Amanda's videos, shut up. I'm sorry your butthole is as tight as a dad tying up skates. So loosen up and get over it. Everyone who doesn't get the butthole bestie thing probably also has like a Jesus is my soulmate sticker on their Honda CRV. Sorry that the only thing that could break the seal on your starfish is a guy on a cross. And fun fact, Amanda even made a Jizzy Jesus. We are making Jizzy Jesus. Client sent in their semen sample and um, I processed it into a powder, mixed it into the clay, blah, blah, blah. I was originally gonna just leave them naked, but then I was like, what would Jesus do? And Jesus would cover up, so. I also made sure it's really tiny and it's hard to see, but I did also give him his crown of thorns. And yeah, Jizzy Jesus. So take that, Christians. Crucify this. Oh. She turned Jesus into Jizzes. <laughs> Jizzes. Jizzes come. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Let's make a Jizzy dog. Figured I'd throw this in there since you guys forget that there's such thing as soap and water. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my client sent in his semen sample. Of course, we processed it into a powder, incorporated it into translucent clay. It's really important to knead and really work the powder in there. Otherwise, you risk um, uh, affecting the integrity of the clay and, and the integrity of the piece. So we are doing a little wiener dog. He's going to be a cute little keychain. Why does my client want a wiener dog made out of jizz? Well, that is for him to know and for you guys to never find out, I guess. He did actually order a massive sculpture as well um, after this piece. So that will be uh, coming up eventually. Anyways, I got the dog all sculpted out and texturized. He's so flipping cute. Like seriously, cutest jizzy dog ever.
is there actually other jizzy dogs or is this the only jizzy dog i don't know either way i love him hope you guys love him too love you guys yeah i think that's the only jizzy dog it did just really set in how kind of strange this is i don't want like i think that what amanda's doing is great but making your jizz into a dog Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna question the type of person who comes and then is like, I wish that was a dog. You know, making that old jizzy glizzy. That's what it's all come to. It's all come to that. Hold the ketchup, hold the mustard. I want some mayo on that dog. Like, could you imagine getting the jizzy glizzy in like your grandparents' will? <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a neat porcelain dog. Where, where'd you get that? Oh yeah. That's a family heirloom. It actually used to belong to my grandfather. Wow, it, it, it's like really beautiful. Yeah, grandpa always said that was the best orgasm he ever had. <laughs> wait, wait, what? The dog, it was the best orgasm my grandpa ever had. Like he fucked the dog? No, ew, no, he didn't fuck a dog. It's just made out of his jizz. Oh God, gross. Dude, that's almost worse. <laughs> Don't you dare come into my house and disrespect my grandfather. That man was a patriot. His balls fought for this country. I don't know, guys. I think it's time we take it a step further. Don't just stop at jizz. Let's start using other bodily fluids to make all sorts of things. Think about how much better the world would be if we had cars that ran on piss. We could make clothes out of our own skin. We could make the first rocket ship that runs on breast milk. Guys, imagine cities made entirely out of our own poo. Guys, imagine a world where houses are heated by vaginal discharge. I don't know about you, but that's the world I want to live in. It's time we start caring about our planet. Change starts today. It starts with jizz. That feels like a good place to end. But who cares if people make jewelry out of jizz? It's environmentally friendly and it don't hurt nobody. Sure, it's a nut diamond from some guy's balls. And yeah, I don't love seeing mildly yellow spunk on my For You page, but it does make me laugh. And I hope it made you laugh too. I hope you laugh so hard you came your pants. She's running a business after all. A jizzness. A, j a jizzy, a jizzy jizzness. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe to videos by Jacob Andrew Sharp, you're guaranteed a lifetime supply of nuggets. Jizzy, sticky little nuggets. Thanks for watching the video guys. And don't forget, I'm proud of you. I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go turn my farts into a nice hat. Okay, bye. Jizz Nugget was actually my nickname in high school.